PN junction formation. PN junction is formed when P type semiconductor material is joined with N type semiconductor material. This can be done either by diffusing aluminium in N type semiconductor or by diffusing phosphorus in P type semiconductor. We know that in N type semiconductor the majority carriers are electrons whereas in P type semiconductor the majority carriers are holes. When N type and P type semiconductors are joined together, electrons from N region start diffusing into the P region and holes from P region start diffusing to N region. This way diffusion current is established across the junction. Due to diffusion of electrons and holes from one region of the PN junction to the other, immobile ions are exposed in the crystal lattice. In N region, positive ions are exposed and P region, negative ions are exposed. This way, an electric field is established in PN junction. This electric field opposes further diffusion of charge carriers across the junction. As electric field in the PN junction is from positive ions towards the negative ions. Few electrons from P region move towards the N region and few holes from N region move towards P region. In this way, a drift current is established in the PN junction. Initially, diffusion current is large and drift current is small. As more and more immobile ions are created in the depletion region, diffusion current decreases and drift current increases. Finally, a stage is reached when diffusion current becomes equal to the drift current and charge carriers stop crossing the junction. This stage is called the equilibrium stage. Therefore, a layer is formed where only immobile ion are present. This layer is called depletion layer. The junction potential at this stage is called the potential barrier. Biasing of PN junction Biasing of PN junction can be done in two ways. Forward biasing, reverse biasing. Forward biasing. In forward biasing, the P region of the junction is connected to the positive terminal of the external battery, whereas N region is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. As can be seen from the diagram, that the applied voltage V drops across the depletion layer and the potential barrier is reduced to VB minus V. As a result, the width of the depletion layer decreases. The holes, which are the majority carriers in the P region, are repelled by the positive terminal of the battery. Similarly, electrons, which are the majority carriers in N region, are repelled by the negative terminal of the battery. As a result of this repulsion of majority charge carriers by the battery, Diffusion starts across the junction. Therefore, forward current is established in the PN junction. We can conclude that PN junction offers a low potential when forward biased. Reverse biasing In reverse biasing, the P region of the junction is connected to the negative terminal of the external battery whereas N region is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. As can be seen from the diagram that the applied voltage V drops across the depletion layer but in the direction of the potential barrier itself and the potential barrier increases to Vb plus V. 
As a result, the width of the depletion layer increases. In reverse biasing, no majority carriers are able to diffuse through the junction and hence there is no current due to majority carrier. The high reverse voltage, however, accelerates some minority carriers to cross the junction and hence the small reverse current flows through the junction. We can conclude that the resistance of PN junction is very high when reverse biased.